creation of a real-world asset, let's say a gold, a gold asset, a real-world gold asset. So yes, you can make your tokenized real-world gold coin, but then you need to inject all kinds of information into it. You need to inject proof of reserves, proving that there is actually gold backing the coin. You need to add identity to it to comply with various regulations so the coin can be moved between different chains and accepted on the destination chain. You might need to update the coin with the price of the asset, of the underlying asset, so that it can settle on a daily basis and people can know what their coin is worth. And this needs to happen when the asset is formed. Great, you formed the asset. That's a great piece of progress. Now you want the asset to be purchased. In order for the asset to be purchased, it needs to be connected to buyers. To be connected to buyers, it needs to be connected to the environments where they are, which is in this world, other chains. CCIP then takes your real world asset with all this important information added to it, sends it to this other chain where your buyer has purchased the asset. But the problem doesn't stop there because you also need to keep the asset updated. So the whole value of um, blockchains from an efficiency point of view is the creation of a golden record. And a golden record needs to stay golden. In order for it to stay golden, whether it's on blockchain A, blockchain B, blockchain C, blockchain D, blockchain Z, whatever blockchain, it still needs to be a golden record that's consistently updated with all these important points, whether it's about reserves, nav, price, whatever. And this is the other thing that CCIP and Oracle Networks and our work does, is it not only creates the real world asset, not only moves the real world asset, but it keeps the real world asset a golden record, which is usable and attractive to further counterparties which is what you want from these more advanced blockchain assets in order for them to, tr to achieve their true